How is she going boys? Mike here. Boys, it's going to be a great day in the shop today. I'm glad you dropped in. Uh, you know, the weather hasn't been ideal the last little while. You know, spring seems like it's taking a long time to get here. And uh, when the weather's cold, you know, and getting chilly like this, it kind of reminds me or puts me in the mood of putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> uh, well, we're not going to put up Christmas decorations in this video, but I am going to do uh, a little project on a Christmas decoration. My manger scene that I put on the front of the shop here. Uh, the little manger that I used to build around is getting kind of rugged, so we're going to try and make a new one today, so uh, come on along, see how we make out. Alright, up there is where I put the manger scene, and that shelf is uh, it's 60 inches long, and it's about 18 inches deep. So what I have to do is I have to make my manger, whatever it's going to be, to make it fit on that shelf. Alright, this is what my manger scene normally looks like, and then you can see the top of this kind of ragged, the sides not the best, but anyway, uh, let's just see to make sure that I got my dimensions right, 60 inches, yeah, that'll work, this top is just an old piece of lattice that I had, but it's getting kind of battered and worn as they say, right, so I got an idea for a new piece of lattice, I've got some white, uh, I don't know, PVC lattice I guess it is, uh, just some scraps, uh, it's four feet wide and that'll be wide enough to go across the top, so I'm going to cut it, cut a piece off at about 15 inches. So I have some uh, just scrap pieces here that I want to cut, uh, rip them to an inch and a half because I want to make new feet and tops for the sides of the manger. And you can see I never fixed my saw yet from uh, the winter's condensation. She's pretty rusty, but anyway, we're going to have a go, see how we make out. So now this becomes the new base with the wider back on it so that when I set things up I can just put a piece across the back here and that'll be the index for the figurines. If you can follow all that. I'll show you later on. <laughs> Maybe it'll make more sense. Okay, uh, I put the foot on the bottom well, and I had it on the top but then I took it off because I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't have a, a, an exact plan. <laughs> But what I'd like to do is, uh, however I put the top on, I would like to have a rib go right across the total front of it to support the lattice. So I have this piece of wood, just an ordinary scrap of wood. So I'm thinking that has to go right across the front like that, because now the lattice is going to sit in here, right? So that means this cut ends up being, uh, I have to cut it on an angle. Because if I just put an ordinary piece of wood right straight across there, because this side is flared out, that wouldn't be a tight fit. So I have to angle that cut. But then also, you know, just to put a little more uh, uh, resin in the epoxy, as they say, <laughs> this top is also sloped, if you can see that. So that means when I put this piece on here, and then when I put this piece across the front, so not only do I have to cut that at an angle this way, because this side is flared out, I also have to cut it, I have to make a plumb cut on it, because this roof is sloped. So anyways, what I'm trying to tell you is this ends up to be a compound miter. <laughs> and as a lucky for me, I have a compound miter saw. I think this is the first time I ever really used it as a compound miter saw. But I'm going to set up here and show you the cut, uh, well I made the cut already, but I'm going to show you the cut and how it fits in here.
Hey, it's sticker time again at Grampy's Workshop. Oh boy, sticker time. You gotta love sticker time. But this week I didn't get a sticker. <laughs> I got a card instead. A while ago, uh, a channel, Twinbrook Acres. Rick at Twinbrook Acres. I'll put a link to Rick's channel down below. He was doing some plowing. He's got a Massey Ferguson GC tractor like mine, a subcompact. And he was doing some plowing in his yard. And halfway through the video, he said, Did anybody notice the difference in my tractor? Uh, or something to that effect. I forget the exact question. But anyway, I did right away. I noticed that it wasn't <laughs> his Massey Ferguson any longer. He ended up with a Kubota. So I mentioned that. So anyways, apparently because I did that, I won a prize. <laughs> Rick sent me a nice card with a cow on it. And he sent me a $50 Amazon gift card. Isn't that awesome? Thanks very much for doing that, Rick. Just because I watched your video, that's awesome. Anyway, in the card he says, uh, you're one of the two or three people that I thought would notice what's wrong here in my video. Thank you for all your support and for your superb videos that you present. <laughs> well, I thoroughly enjoy your channel. Sorry I don't have any stickers for you at this time. Sincerely, Rick. Yeah, well, Rick, you know what? You'll have to get some stickers, buddy. <laughs> That's all I can say. But thanks a lot for the card, Rick, and, th and, and thanks a million for the Amazon gift card. I'm going to put that to good use, guaranteed. So if you get a chance, go to Twin Brook Acres and uh, subscribe to Rick. Tell him Grampy sent you. Okay, uh, this I thought you know was going to be a pretty simple little project. Just put a little roof on a couple of these sides. But because of these angles and whatnot, it makes it a little bit more complex. Also, the bottom cleat is going to be outside of the enclosure, but the top cleat has to be inside the enclosure. So that's just another added, you know, <laughs> problem. So this is the piece that I cut. So this angle is, uh, this was uh, 13 degrees, but then the plum cut on this end was seven degrees. All right. And then you have to also remember to orient this the right way when you're putting it back together. Uh, I think I've got everything squared away now. It's <laughs> for an old fellow, you know, <laughs> this is getting pretty complicated. It's starting to get a headache. Anyways, the, the tail, the long part goes out the back because we want this corner to be flush. The bottom foot here is facing up, so we want this one to go under the board. And this corner here has to come flush. And this has got the proper uh, compound miter lined up there. So, I think everything is right. Okay, so this is now the right side of what's going to be the manger. Uh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph are going to be in here. It's not the right way, but anyway, this is just a mock-up. Whoa, 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 come on back here. So that's going to go something like that. Uh, the, the point that I'm trying to make now is that this piece will go on here and you'll see that that's a fits, that fits the plum cut and the miter cut and then my lattice is going to fit over the top of that. If you can follow along all that, good for you. <laughs> okay, so I have my uh, stretcher, I'm going to call it, across the top and I kind of cut it back at an angle make it look pretty. Now what I want to do is uh, secure this lattice to it because this will all be one part, one piece. So. Uh, we're going to set this up as best we can, and then I have some one inch screws that we're going to use to hold it. Now screwing right into the plastic is liable to expand and contract with the heat, uh, but it's not going to be up in the summer, so that shouldn't be an issue for me. the sides clamped to the bench again and I'm going to put the roof on it up here. That should just slip on like that. So that doesn't look too bad. Now I'd also like to put a piece across the back because then if I had a piece across the back like this for example, if you can see this then I'd have something I can screw this to the building right to hold it secure on the building when it's on the shelf. Alright, this is the, uh, yeah, I cut it a little shorter, 
and I marked the center line on it. And I also had the center marked on my uh, lattice. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. All right, need a drill or a driver, I guess. So that looks like it's about centered. Just screw right here. All right, there we have the roof. And this is the front, so let's try it. Okay, and because this kind of floats, I can center it up to make sure it's even overhang on either side. Uh, so now I want to take this stick out, but when I take that stick out, these sides flop around, eh, because there's nothing holding them. So what I want to do is put some witness marks here and there on the unit, get it all lined up the way I want it, put some witness marks on it, because I want to put a screw in here and a screw in here to hold it. I'll have nothing at the back, but I'll be able to screw through this part into the building to secure it to the building to keep it from sliding back and forth this way. So that'll be all right. I also made this stick here, and this is going to go at the back. When I first go to set up the shelter, the uh, manger, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stick and put it up on the shelf, slide it right to the back, and I have a center line marked on that, and then two angles on either side. So that will show me then uh, where the back side of the manger goes so that the angle tipped in will, will be good. Alright, uh, the last thing I need to do now is take this little brace out. So I uh, put a screw here and here so that's good and solid. Uh, like I say, I'll put a screw through the back to hold it to the building. A couple of screws in each uh, foot at the bottom to hold it down on the shelf. And then I also added my hooks up here again because I string a piece of garland across there. And there's a hook down here and a hook on this side. So uh, I think it's pretty good. I put my witness marks in here so I'll know where to line this up. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now, to take it apart, how much is it to take it apart? First of all, I would take the screw out of here that holds it to the building. Then, take this screw out of here, and out of here, so the, so the top will lift off, so that can be packed away. And then I'll take the screws out of the feet here on this side, and then that comes off. Then take the screws out on this side, this side comes off, and then this little uh, indexing stick here will go at the back. Uh, I like that a lot better. Well, strange time of the year to be working on Christmas decorations, eh? But anyways, <laughs> it was chilly this morning. It felt like a Christmas decoration temperatures, that's for sure. But anyway, got the little manger rebuilt, and I think the roof is going to be nice. I think the, uh, the other lattice was way past its life. <laughs> So this might be a little bit better. And I hope Jesus, Mary, and Joseph liked their new manger. And I hope you liked this too. So if you did, don't forget, thumbs up me, leave me some comments. And I hope you have a great week. And I hope where you are, spring doesn't feel like it's time to put up your Christmas decorations. <laughs> we'll talk to you.